Welcome! During this video, I'll provide a basic introduction to NetInspect. For those of you that are new to NetInspect, NetInspect is a web-based supply chain and quality management software used by more than 7,000 companies in 52 countries. To use NetInspect, there's no need to install or download any software. NetInspect is fully web-based and supports multiple modern browsers such as Internet Explorer, Edge, and Google Chrome, although we do recommend Google Chrome. When you log into NetInspect, you'll be taken directly to a dashboard. This dashboard is customizable not only by company, but also by user. You'll notice your dashboard may look different than mine. For instance, I serve four different customers, and so my implementation guide lists these customers along with any guidance that they've provided to me and other suppliers. I've also chosen to customize some of the widgets, such as favorite pages, where I've added a list of pages that I visit frequently with direct links back to the page filtered to my preference. At any time, I can rearrange the dashboard by dragging and rearranging the widgets. I can also remove any widget by hitting the X button and then using the Edit Dashboard dropdown to bring those widgets back. NetInspect has blue question marks throughout the application. You can use these question marks to see the Help Desk article related to this page. We also have links directly to video tutorials and all knowledge base articles. Frequently, when users log into NetInspect, they might be looking for a particular first article. To find that first article, we can use the menu and go to first articles, view internal, or if it's a suppli supplier fair, we may go to view supplier. There's also a search field in the upper right hand corner where I can type the part number or the fair number and see a list of matching results. If we want to look at the list of recent internal first articles, we can select first articles and view internal. You will notice NetInspect tables all have a common look and feel. There's typically a date filter in the left-hand corner and quick filters across the top for what people typically filter on. Each table will have a columns drop-down in the upper right-hand corner where we can choose what columns are displayed. For instance, if I frequently filter on PO number, I can select this column. It will add PO number to my table and then I can drag the title of the column to rearrange it if I'd like to have it closer to my main, main view here. There's also a filter option on each column, so if I know what P, PO number I'm looking for, I can type that information in and then it will filter the list for that PO number. Sometimes you might be looking for a particular part number. When you use the search field on the right, it will expand the date range to search all time and show you all matching results. Again, I could use this search field and then also filter on any column to get to the data that I'm looking for. At any time, I can also choose to add this page to my favorites and it will remember exactly the filters that I've applied. So next time on my dashboard, I can just click the link to my favorite page and come directly here with the table filter to my preference. To clear a filter, we use the gold clear all filters option and that will bring us back to all results. You are welcome to export the summary data to Excel at any time. To do so, you select the export option in the upper right hand corner. It will by default choose exactly the columns you have displayed and then it will summarize how many results you'll be exporting and you can select the export button to then output it to Excel if you need to do further analysis or filtering. For first articles, you'll notice here the colors on the left correlate with the quick filters. I can see here this one first article has been disapproved for buy off by my customer. So I could open it, see why it was rejected. I can see these FAIs in green have been approved by my customer. So they're marked accordingly. And then the blue FAIs indicate that they're in work. I have not yet submitted them to my customer. To open a particular first article, you can select anywhere in the row. When I select the row, it will open the first article, and then depending on the status, 
I may have the ability to immediately start making corrections and changes. In this case, this first article was rejected by my customer and I can see exactly what I need to correct. And there's three things I need to correct on form one and then I can sign and resubmit it to my customer. If I need to create a new first article, I can select Create Fair in the top menu. I can select the customer that I'm submitting to, input the information, and proceed to manually create the FAI. I can also copy FAIs from an existing FAI. This is great for a delta or partial scenario. And lastly, I can import an FAI from an external source. This includes sources such as Excel, or some of our partners such as Inspection Expert, Discus, Capvidia, uh, or SolidWorks Inspection. At any time I can return to the dashboard by selecting the NetInspect logo in the upper left hand corner. If I ever need to add suppliers or customers I can do that under the settings gear and company setup. If I ever need to add or remove users within my account I can use the settings gear and select user management. And then lastly, if I want to change any of my own preferences, such as my password or my notification settings, I can select my user ID in the upper right hand corner and see the options underneath. As a reminder, we always recommend that you log out when you're done using NetInspect. When you select the log out button, it will take you back uh, to our login page and back to our home page where you can then log in again. If at any point you need assistance, you can always call our help desk at the phone number listed on our website. That's 425-233-6176. You can also select the contact us option to see our help desk email, our sales email, or send us suggestions. If you are new to NetInspect and you do not yet have an account, there's a green request an account button in the upper right hand corner which will take you to this page where you can fill out the information specifying your customer and our help desk will reply promptly. Thank you for your time and attention.